Well, the weather's really holding out for, uh, for the mission today, which is to go and give the uh, big green blob slob a damn good thrashing. What's the fed my piggies? I think my piggies, otherwise they're starved. I don't know if they're starved to death or not, but they're not very happy piggies. I think that do. So, uh, yeah, today I'm going off to give bone mass a damn good smack around the blobber chops. Uh, been a little bit busy at my other place. Actually, I've just jumped ahead there. Look at this. So, he was way over here. So I'm here. Ike is here. Got two elders, all nice and local. And then they're whack bone mess right over here. So, I've been over there. As you can see, I've explored, found some crypts, I've got some iron. But look at this, right between planes. So I've been having a little bit of fun with um, fuelings and the deaf skeetos. Uh, as I said, I built myself a little place over here. Not um, not a bed here yet, or anything like that. I'm probably going to use it as a second base. Well, obviously as a second base, but as a main spawn point for when I die. So that's up here. And then I've got... This is like the courtyard, if you like. That's obviously the little main sleeping quarters. Uh, I'm going to put a throne in there and just so I get a better rested bonus. And this is the workshop area. So I've got a maximum level forge and the maximum level uh, workbench. But it was cool for a minute then. I put the smelter and that in here because I'm going to be getting wet all the time. So I've got what, 13 minutes left on most of my food. Enough to keep me going. I don't really need to be taking mushrooms with me. So let me clear that. Okay, so I've got a full stack of bones. Got a club because he's weak to clubs. <laughs> I've done a recce here. Oh yeah, my base. I was kind of put it on a bit of a steep hill. Just so it makes it a little bit difficult for these um, buggers to get in. Like, to get to me. Right, before I go down, I'm just going to shoot back to the other base and get me uh, poison. Not my poison, my stamina potion and my health potion. Right, back in a sec. Okay, so that's a bit better. I've got my potions now. My needs. They are plus, I'm going to um, channel this down a little bit more. And the same at the back, I'm going to channel that out. Just so things have struggled a little bit more to get to me. I've got a tree growing out in the middle of my blooming wall as well. So I have, uh, I've been down here. I think that's as many spawn points as I could find. Uh, been to the crypts. Oop. Obviously it's not going to stop the wandering ones, the ones that just generally spawn in anyway, like that. Um, I've taken out as many of the little uh, firemen as I could find. And dug out the, uh, the flame spouts. Got to drink some poison, anti-poison. Dug out the flame spouts so hopefully they don't spawn in. We can hear them spawn again but die pretty much straight away. Good source of um, certain calls, certain calls. I'm going to run away anyway. <clears throat> That's why that one I haven't done a very good job on, have I? They're still there. Here we are then, by Messi's uh, spawn point. Read the rune stone. Pick their remains. Yeah, I have some of those. I'm not sure how many it is though. Right. Oh well, let's go for it. Where is he gonna come up? I wanna get I wanna get the first hit to him. 
Somewhere around here, oh my life. I'll get used to his um used to his attacks. I've, I've fought him before in another playthrough. And it is a case of managing the stamina, obviously keeping an eye on the health. And I do do believe he vomits up a whole load of green puke as well. And it is a big cloud of nasty smeggy stuff. So he's just throwing, he's just throwing a blob. Don't really want to be walking in the uh, vaporous green cloud of puke. Well, I suppose I'm gonna have to. Let's go watch that stamina. The rest of it is in the hands of the gods, I suppose. Here we go, he's going to vomit it now. Have we drink any potions yet? No. Just got to keep an eye on the food then. Oh, I didn't block that one. Yeah, it's getting out of the way a little bit. It's nice that there's land all the way around it, so at least I can stay on it. I ain't got to keep going into the water. Got five minutes left of the uh, poison resistance. Stamina's on the wane again. On the wane again. I'll let him go pick up. That. It was a bit, of a bit of a tickle. Oi! Stamina's gone again. Let's have some mead. Come on, blubber guts. Can I have some more mead? Yeah, let's have more mead. Well, that was actually pretty easy. Find my trophy, and we got the wishbone. I can go looking for silver. Let's gather up all these bits. There we go, Hugin's play. What does he want? It's really dark, isn't it? What do you want, Hugin? Since one of the many bones is leaving Austria hidden in his belly was a wishbone. He can locate silver veins. Thank you very much. What space I've got in my inventory? That looks different to the last time I see it. Right. And then again, so I'll get a second one.
sweet. So that's two wishbones and two bone mass trophies. <laughs> right, let me go back to my base, which is actually that way. Right, so I need to get all the way back over to here. Hang me trophy up. Oh, a scrap iron from somewhere. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm going to go and hang this up. Well, that's what the head looks like, and I must say he's just as ugly in real life as he is in the game. <laughs> that makes any sense. And I do have a mountain on here, but I do go, do want to go and do some um, silver mining, which I'm going to have to do very soon if I want to get on in this game. And I made myself a little pathway that goes to it. There it. So I made myself a little path. It goes all the way over to this mountain, so I'm going to go exploring that. But in the meantime, let's just quickly shoot up here and... Seriously? Hang this trophy up. Here we go then. Wanderer, look to your feet that tread upon your tomb. One thousand bones without the meat will drag you to your doom. So he's taking a damn good kick and over it. Attach item. No. Resistor versus blunt slash and pierce. I think I'm gonna add some health. It's about the mountain next. He is an ugly little bugger, isn't he? Nice well, three of the bosses down. Ike there, the elder and bone mess. Just got the dragon and skull man left. Don't put any more bosses in yet then. Oh, there's room for another one there. Okay, so yeah. Beating up bone mass and I've beaten him up twice, so I've beaten him up good and proper. I think I'm gonna put a little portal around here because it took me ages to run over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put a portal here. Oh, look, there's uh, another mountain there, that's too far away. So I'll use this mountain and this mountain for my silver. So we're farming, look for the dragon eggs. Then I can take on this boss. And once I've done that, into the plains proper rather than just trying to dodge everything because I'm scared of it. Over here. And then I'll have to bring the boat back, load up with silver and bring this over here and then I can go up there. Anyway, that's enough musings and plan making. That's it for this episode. Little thing of blood and bone, I should have snatched you like a twig. Now I wither and die, let the great tree have me. Yep, I beat ya! Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode. Look after yourselves, take care now. Bye bye. <laughs> Done ya!